So I know a lot of you Gen Z Gen Zers don't know what Facebook is. I mean, I don't know why I'm enjoying it at the time, but I did. My lip just looked dry and crack up, so. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. guys welcome back to the channel it's your girl kadeen and this is wine with cads in today's video we are going to be reacting to my very first pictures on facebook so i know a lot of you gen z gen zers don't know what facebook is <laughs> i'm kidding i'm kidding well, enough people don't have facebook anymore and i still have facebook i find the funniest memes on facebook i find the funniest thing being reposted on facebook and also in order to run a business like if you have an Instagram page where you have a success, like you need Facebook because everybody, you know, combined in the metaverse or whatever it is now. So let me see now. I have this Nagino count on how many pictures or, you know, that you have on the, the thing <laughs> on, on Facebook. But I have quite a few pictures on Facebook. And today I'll be going through some of my first pictures and you know comparing the first set of pictures to like my most recent pictures and seeing how much i have grown over the years i joined facebook in 2008 oh my gosh i joined facebook in 2008 that was the summer of my of lower six so yeah i joined it probably that yeah that same that same year and so we'll look on the first set of pictures. I, mean, I don't know why I'm enjoying it at the time, but I did. <laughs> I did. All right. I remember posting this video, this picture, and I remember this dress. I was 17 years old. I'm going to look like I say, my face looked much fatter then than it is now. I was in Florida. I was visiting my Uncle Mark and his family, and I was staying at their home. Oh my gosh. Why am I leaning on my head like this? <laughs> Why did I lean my head like this? Oh my gosh. I think that dress... No, I mean, I have that dress here still. I give it most of the dress here. But it, put, it could have probably fit me the same way. But I felt... may feel cute. may feel cute and so forth. I think we had gone shopping. And I just decided to make a try on all of the dress them. <laughs> I could just try them on my dress them. <laughs> One time, I post five pictures on Facebook crazy it's crazy oh this is a cute picture i had relaxed hair at the time i'm gonna try out like different we used to do like crazy styles with my hair i think i'm afraid renee renee used to do some crazy styles with her hair too and it probably inspired me at that time for just you know like just do a little twist here and pin it there pin it there because i never used to like fit. put a lot of tension in my hair because girl was trying to protect her edges but yeah, I feel cute. Somebody could have given me like a lip gloss though, like a lip balm, you know? And then time the lip just look dry and crack up. So, oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. No, this was not doing it. Why? Somebody's coming and said up close and personal, looking sweet. This not look sweet. My nose look like. My nose. Uh, clearly, me never have no breasts. What is this? I don't remember where we visited, but the picture blurry. Oh my god, the picture is so blurry. Me, you know, want like a mini skirt and a long blouse. I don't know what was going on here, but you know, them the time the people think they sexy. <laughs> oh my gosh! Listen, and the album name, My Life. <laughs> my life okay let us go and find how you, how you operate facebook because we don't know if you operate facebook on a computer anymore you know? <laughs> all right so i was in the pool in this one uh, who went to me here who went to me here this never looked like me it looked like me but it didn't really look look like me like 
this was so this was the following year so i never post anything for one whole year on facebook wow the time has changed times have changed what what kind of pose this what kind of pose this okay next all right so this summer i remember visiting westwood um for camp i may feel really excited because i'm like this is my school my normal school and so forth I, I went to a church camp up there i'm really excited so you know so i'm pose in front of one of the little bush them under the jack on the tree <laughs> I was feeling myself. Could I work on the posture a little bit, but. And oh my gosh, I remember when I cut my hair and I did one nice little the long thing. I made, I don't know, but it may, may feel cute. It may feel grown. It may feel grown. It may feel really nice, you know. Hair went cut in and that one nice little. Was it a pixie cut? No, it wasn't a pixie cut. I wanted something different and the hairdresser, what I did want the hairdresser when I say, many things say you go can't manage that. So I cut it like right under my ear and when do one little rinse, whenever obvious at school, because I was still in school when in the upper six at this time. <laughs> but girl was feeling herself. Alright, let's us go back now. 2009, not much years ago. I don't know. Ah, Christmas 09. This year we went to Koyaba. A Koyaba name? I may feel myself. Like, let us talk about good light. Wait, where, where, what is going on here? First, I'm going to show you. We're going to see the pictures there. But what, what is this? Why we stand up like that? For some reason, I think they're that cute. And the synthetic hair, oh my god. Thank God that the times have changed. Because if men didn't hear so something know some would I catch a fire if men didn't hear some flames that year day. Oh my gosh, look at Kanye! Look at Kanye! Look at Kanye! Kanye was five years old here. This was 2010. Kanye was five years old. I know Kanye that graduated from high school. This is just wild to me. <laughs> He may not have the time of his life. The time, time, time of his life. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Guys, if you still have Facebook, I encourage you know, to go through Facebook and look at where you're coming from. You know, sometimes when you have the, the, the memories pop up, like your Facebook memories, and you see the statuses that you, no, the stat, well, a status they call it? Yes, status so we post back in the days, and I'm like, so many times I look at him and say, what was I going through at that time? <laughs> because when we read some of my I'm like, what did I go through? And why, why did I think this was appropriate to, to, to post on Facebook? I'd say between 2011 or 2012 to 2015, no, 2012 to 2016, 2017, may have the most depressing <laughs> statuses and nobody never realized that me i go through something <laughs> nobody <laughs> nobody it's crazy um but thank god for baby jesus now why did i think it was appropriate for post and me i have one bad hair deep on facebook why 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 anton say you're still pretty my cousin i mean thank you <laughs> but why many things say why why i mean it's so cute it's for true but why men think that it's necessary to post on facebook and then the album that followed said <laughs> the album that followed said tweet tweet here come now i think i meant sweet but like you know you know one cute look away tweet but it looks like something from outer space what is the angles weren't angling <laughs> uh, everybody in that comment has a sweet y'all were not nice then if this is what we thought was sweet at the time y'all were, nice. were not nice let's see which one which next one all right banquet 2010 all right so when i went to this banquet and i was 
feeling myself. What did I feel myself? What did I feel myself? What did I feel myself? I was feeling myself. I did, you know, thickums. I was in love. Was I? Yeah, man, in love. You know, when I feel myself, you know, when I feel myself, I come out, put on a nice little dress. Yeah, but it, it was not show. I, it was showing that I was, I was, I was happy. I was loved, and I was in love. You know, man, I want good space in my life. This was the first. No, this was my second year in UE. The first semester of the second year in UE, and yeah, me did, you know, me did I find myself and but I feel nice. <laughs> But it feel really nice and cute. You know, when I want to go church banquets and I went. Why made it feel like so many if you go I want church banquet banquet with the whole of my back exposed? Why? Let's move on. <laughs> Let's move on. Because chances are if I were to do it again, I probably still would. <laughs> but I learn. I don't learn. I do not learn this album no. Worms. Jesus have his mercy. What is going on here? The first picture is me at school on the top of the desk in my uniform. Why? Why did I think this was appropriate? Why did it on the top of it? Why was I on the desk at school in my uniform? What? Oh my God. So this picture here, you now with the glasses, me and my friends, we went downtown. <laughs> we went downtown, man, take a bay, no, then tell me, me don't go downtown, man, take a bay, no, because, no, me never, me never feel safe. But we go downtown, man, take a bay, we went in this store, I think, on Westrand, and for some reason, I feel like me didn't need to try on the weirdest glasses, and then take my picture. <laughs> and we post it on Facebook. For what I don't know. What was up with the quality of these pictures? And why did I think I need to post this picture? And the quality is so poor. Why? Um, this was a time when I was painting, like really, really painting. I used to just, you know, see something like it and just recreate it. I try to recreate it. And this was a painting of a cotton tree. And it was like where my uncle used to live, somewhere down in, in Froome. And I took the picture and I recreated it and it took me like three days to complete. And I gave away this painting to one of my other uncles who lived overseas. It was a huge painting. I think it was like, huge meaning like probably like, it was bigger than a 16 by, so it was like an 18 by 24. I still can't believe somebody did a painting here because looking at it now, I can see some errors that need to be, to be, to be corrected. But like, we still can't believe that I sat down and did this, this. I sat down and I actually did that in, in, in three days. And I was so proud of it. I was really proud of it. Till now, you know, take picture with it. <laughs> I was so proud of myself. I was so proud of myself. And sometimes I guess when I look back at those pictures, it kind of inspire me to try and you know, do these paintings again because now looking back, I say, me not, me not too bad. All right, so this picture, what is going on for my eyeshadow? What is going on? Why am I even have an eyeshadow? My sister went and said something to me that night, then I'm a camera, but she said, Your eye top look like. <laughs> so, why your eye top look like that, Kenny? <laughs> why? Why did I think it was necessary for put on eyesh just eyeshadow? Just eyeshadow. We never did I wear makeup. We don't wear my fine eyeshadow because my mom does not wear makeup. Not that we not well, now I wear makeup, but like, when I'm not going to eyeshadow, I'll... Moving on. Moving on because I'm not sure what we're not going to do. So, so now, which album we're going to know? All right, Christmas. With the Greys 2015. We went to hedonism. Oh, some things we have seen. <laughs> I'm not really sure why. Me, me, Jodine, mommy, daddy, 
and one of Jordan's friends at the time went to hedonism for Christmas dinner. Food was good, but if you've been to hedonism, you know, you know what you're gonna see. Anyway, we had a grand time. We had a grand time. Men love Jodine dress. Oh my gosh. I loved this dress on her so much. It's just classy, just different. It just, you know, it gave a little bit of um, New Year's vibe, Christmas vibe, chic. It's just nice. It's a really lovely dress, right? I found. It's trying to look really cute. And then this white man went come and say, um, you want to take one picture with me? I mean, I wonder why when they are hidden is by himself. Now that I look back at it, why was he hidden is by himself? I'm just when I walk up and down by himself. Why was he there by himself? Hidden is is like, maybe probably they look. Now that I look at me and say, I probably shouldn't have stand up beside that man. Probably should not have stand beside that man. <laughs> I love this picture so much. I love this picture so much. Like nobody never know how much men I go through at this time. I lost about. 10 to 15 pounds boy some pictures can tell a story and i was really really fighting to keep a smile on my face like men really when i fight to try and enjoy myself and i did enjoy myself but I, I i realized now that i really and truly made an effort to have a good time that night because you know i'm with family and you can't really dwell on the negative things maybe if men deal with them from the time i'm going to get to where i got to in terms of depression and, and suicidal and stuff but i really fought for myself like the picture you show me say i was fighting for myself i fought i fought hard for myself but like my could i see i can see that i was i lost so much weight i lost so much weight like the dress here this dress Probably no. I'm not gonna really put on that much weight since then, but you could have seen it on my face and in my neck. Like, man, those been no, sir. Men, my knees were so pointy. I went through a lot. I was going through it that year. But thank God for baby Jesus. <laughs> thank God for baby Jesus. Oh my, I love my family so much. Oh gosh, daddy gave so much trouble that night so much trouble that night always 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 giving so much trouble but we had a good time we had a really good time <laughs> this is a family picture and obviously like you just know who are the one who are the family clone that is daddy <laughs> that is daddy. <laughs> pretty much all any time the four of us get together it's like laughter non-stop and you know, just one band where you can't trade all right i feel like i look at enough pictures right now all right let's look at instagram photos oh look at her now if you compare the first picture that i had on facebook to these most recent ones i want a totally different girl so silly totally different girl like, this is just so nice. Uh, this was my 29th birthday party. I was, you know, chocolate, like, you know, it's my first time I, no, second time I did my makeup professionally. And girl, when I feel herself, like, I was, listen, nobody could talk to me. Either. Nobody could tell me nothing. I am, and I, I was on that day, Make me feel fabulous. I was the shiz, the shiz. Hair went up neat and cute, man. I want a nice little dress, man. You know the, you know the body, the body went look nice and you know well proportioned. Makeup went on fleek. Hair went on fleek. Everything was just on fleek. I was feeling myself in this picture. Now look at this picture. One with me eating the chocolate, compared to. The first picture that I had on Facebook. Well, I mean, I mean, uh, only a years pass in between that. But like that girl when she just joined Facebook, you know, she never really. She was coming into herself. She was really and truly trying to get to know who she is. But never know certain sides of me as it. I didn't. I did not yet have the opportunity to discover certain sides of me. Like, we not even. We can't. Like, we never. We never discover certain. We never go through certain things yet. At the time when I did that, I never been through through a heartbreak. The first first picture. 
I was never in a never in a new relationship at that time, or we never in a new ever. That 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 first picture never had a relationship, so therefore I never knew what it was like to be in love yet. I didn't know what depression felt like. I never experienced heartbreak. I wasn't working, so we never know what that was like. We never have um, critical life decisions <laughs> to be made. Man, in a high school, <laughs> Man, literally that's six forms. So certain things never start happening yet. And then this girl, um, this girl who they eat the chocolate would have experienced love, um, heartbreak, loss, depression. Oh my God. Oh my God, and this was me feeling like, you know, maybe at the pinnacle of my life, like me right at the top, because I would have gone through so much. I was working as a recruiter at Royalton, and it made me feel like I say, you know, finally, after all these years, I would have, you know, would I read, I, I'm, I'm more, I feel like I was closer to getting to my life goals. I was in school, and I started, Still in a school, and I drop out. <laughs> but I was doing my masters. I was, you know, slaying dragons. I, I made mean, feel happy. I felt so happy. And this night, it felt good to know that able to do something like that for myself. Because prior to this this year, I never used to celebrate my birthdays in adulthood. I used to always depend on or hope that somebody would. We used to hope, say, somebody would, uh, you know, do something for my birthday. Or, let me see, the year before, yeah, the year before my friends took me out. That was really nice. I think from the age of, like, because for 25, I did decide that men go go away. Men just step on myself and leave when, 20, when I turned 25, I left and I went to New York. This year, I turned 29. So, 25, so 26, 27, I really don't know. No, and then 28, my friends took me out, and then 29, I did. so this was the year that I said, you know, I'm my birthday, all of the people them whom I love and cherish, I want them there with me, well, most of them, because my parents weren't there, and, um, like, you know, I, I really and truly, because I felt as though, at this time, you know, I, I thought that we go through everything I'm supposed to go through in life. <laughs> I was like, we go through everything I'm supposed to go through, there's no way. Anything I gonna come and knock me off at this road because I'm headed there. I'm headed there. I mean, and then the pandemic come. <laughs> then the pandemic came. My birthday I celebrated my birthday February first, and the pandemic come March. The pandemic came. Oh my gosh, that was that was something else. The pandemic came and it really just knocked me off. I was like, all right, I'm gonna start over, and. Here we are, <laughs> here we are. Well, that was all the pictures that we went through today and I will not be going through any more pictures. Probably one next time I'll go through like photo albums because I have pictures. Mom used to always make sure to say, we have pictures from when we were babies, babies. So probably one day I'll go through my photo album, but until then, <laughs> until then, I am truly, truly grateful for everything that I have. You know, looking back sometimes you can, really show you what you go through to get to and, and yeah to show you what, what you've gone through and remind you that you know some of the times we think say this is it and this is the end and it's not gonna get better and we feel like I say alright we go stuck in this particular situation or things are gonna always be loom and doom and when you look back on certain things like you know we're glad someone never delete my Facebook I'm glad that I didn't because at least you can look back and you can remember some of the things that you were going through at that period of time, at that particular time. And then looking at yourself now and recognizing yourself, know that once I didn't think I could get through that. I didn't think I could get through that heartbreak. I didn't think I could get through that job loss. I didn't think I could get through depression. I did not think that I could get through um, feeling as though, you know, maybe at the bottom of the pit. I didn't think I could get through it. And now looking at myself, no, I'm like, but looky here, <laughs> looky here, she did, she made it. And she is still on the path to where her purpose is going to take her. So yeah, that's my two, that, that's kind of video. We don't know sometimes it can get very deep and sentimental and I really wanted this to be a fun video. So I don't want to get too deep and sentimental, but 
I really and truly believe say, there is a lesson in every single thing and that is why most of my videos are always talking about the lessons that I've learned from certain situations that I have gone through and um, certain things that I have experienced and so that is why there's always, <laughs> always say something. this is what I've learned from that and this is what this has shown me because there's a lesson in everything and I don't take anything that I've gone through for granted and I'm grateful for every single thing that I have experienced. Everything, job loss, being terminated, being heartbroken, being cheated on, being taken for granted. I cannot appreciate it because it has brought these things and even obviously the good things too, you know, getting my first degree at a young, you know, at 21, and getting a job, being able to pay off my student loan, those kind of things really and truly shape who I am as a person and it put a lot of things into perspective for me and knowing you know, that when I decide to have a family of my own some of the things that I would want to impart on my children yeah so these things shape me and even though at the time some of them were really heart-wrenching some of them make you feel like I say you know what God may give up may I turn the tub because this is too much and I know they can look back and say, if this never happened in my life, I wouldn't be able to appreciate, I wouldn't be able to appreciate certain things. I will not necessarily understand what it meant to really and truly love yourself and give yourself what you want and what you desire and what you need to, to take you on the next leg of your journey. So yeah, that's enough rambling guys. That is it for today's video. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for having a sip of wine with cards. Please tell me what to do in the next video because I am home. As, you t as I told you, I am back home with my parents and I want to find some fun videos to, um, to do with them. No, they're not supposed to be on the channel. <laughs> they're not supposed to be on the channel. So tell me some of the things that I can do with my parents. And yeah, I want to try some stuff with them on the channel. And, you know, I'll, I'll take your suggestions and we can move forward with that. <laughs> my loving them. Loving a bad, 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 bad. And hopefully we'll continue to grow in 2022 and onward because I'm not leaving you. You can't get rid of me. You won't get rid of me. <laughs> All right, guys. Bye.